Welcome back, towners. Today we're gonna to make some elote wings. Let's get it. All right, to start off this recipe, we have our chicken wings. We have about 25 wings here. Uh, we'll clean them off and we're going to pat them dry to remove all the moisture from them. Uh, we are uh, going to bake these wings so we want to get them dry as possible to get a good crust on them during the baking process. Uh, we cover them with about two tablespoons of olive oil, some pink Himalayan sea salt, as well as some black pepper. Then we uh, just mixed everything together to get the oil coating on all of the wings to help crisp them up in the oven. We then put down our uh, uh, baking rack, baking sheet with a raised rack on it to get good airflow all around it. And we placed all of our wings, spacing them out evenly on the rack. This is how they look before we place them in the oven. We're gonna bake these at 425 degrees. This is how they looked at the 35 minute mark when we were flipping them over. And this was our final product. Uh, it took us about an hour to get here uh, to this point. Now it's time to add all of the toppings. Uh, we put down a tablespoon of butter, uh, some Duke's mayonnaise, and then we uh, mixed all that together to get the mayonnaise to coat the wings. That's how all of our seasonings are gonna stick to the wings. And then we hopped, popped in some of our cojita cheese. We poured that in and then uh, shook that around the bowl. Uh, some of the coating fell to the bottom, so we just added a little bit more to it. And then we added in some of our uh, tahine seasoning. This is basically a uh, chili powder with uh, lime added to it and citric acid. Then we dropped in some cilantro as well as some freshly diced jalapenos on everything and mix that all together. And this here was our final product. Uh, the wings came out very nice. Um, I really didn't know what to expect from the flavor wise of this, but um, using the mayonnaise as the base to help all of the seasoning stick to it, uh, the, the cheese and the chili sauce with lime added a great punch to it. I actually forgot to add the I had lime juice to add to it also. I didn't even need that because the lime in the tahine uh, was strong enough to to feel the need for that. Um, so I, maybe if I added the lime, it may have been too acidity overpowering, even though I like lime juice, uh, but it came out great. Um, if anyone has any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment section below uh, how you like these compared to the Elote corn, if it's a good comparison. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please enjoy. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.